वेरी वेरी गुड आफ्टरनून एवरीबॉडी एंड आई एम वेरी वेरी हैप्पी एंड एक्साइटेड टू बी हियर है ना मुझे बहुत मजा आ रहा है एंड आई कैन ऑलरेडी सी कि तुम बच्चों ने बहुत मेहनत की और लगता है कि क्विज में जीत के जाओगे मैं जानना चाहता हूं पांचों टीम से कौन सी टीम सोच रही है कि जीत के जाएगी कुछ और देखो ये लोग हाथ में उठा रहे हैं तो बहुत ही गड़बड़ है देखो मेरा ये मानना है कि डोंट रेज योर हैंड तो आपने अपने आप को अंडर एस्टीमेट कर दिया है ना किस लिए खेल रहे हैं किस लिए खेल रहे हैं जीतने के लिए खेल रहे हैं शर्मारा नहीं है इसमें हम कई बार सोचते हैं लोग क्या सोचेंगे कि मैंने हाथ उठा लिया और मैं बाद में हार गया तो लोग बोलेंगे बड़ा हार हाथ उठा रहा था ऐसा कुछ नहीं है ऐसा कुछ नहीं है पीपल आर बिजी इन देर ओन लाइफ वो और सोच रहे हैं आज के फेस्ट में शाम में क्या पहनना है और किसके साथ मैंने बाहर वॉक करने जाना है क्या कॉमेडी नाइट में क्या सुनेंगे उसके बाद डांस पार्टी में क्या हुआ नॉट बॉडर्ड अबाउट कि तेरा क्यों उसमें जीत रहा है कि नहीं जीत रहा वो तेरी जिंदगी है और वो आगे खेल रहा है एग्री कि नहीं खेल रहे हैं तो कुछ नहीं खेल रहे हैं बताओ जीतने के लिए मैं कुछ शुरू करने से पहले आई जस्ट वॉन्ट टू रेजोनेट ऑन वर्ट कल्याणी है जस्ट से स्टार्ट कर ली जल्दी शुरू करने से हमेशा जर्नी आसान रहती है जितना लेट हम शुरू करते हैं पढ़ना उतना हमें लगेगा कि बहुत ज़्यादा क्वांटम में पढ़ने का और एक चीज़ है जिसको मुझे ऐसा लगता है इंडिया के ज़्यादातर ग्रेजुएट्स जितने भी मेडिकल ग्रेजुएट्स हैं इग्नोर कर रहे हैं वो क्या वो कौन सा ऐसा एग्जाम है जिसको वो सबको पता है कि होना है बस सब उसको सोच के बैठे हैं होगा नहीं ऐसा कौन सा एग्जाम है नेक्स्ट तो वेन शी स्टार्टेड शी स्टार्टेड फॉर नीट पी जब जिस साल में उसने पढ़ना शुरू किया उसने सोचा कि मुझे नीट पीजी में अच्छा रैंक लाना है कॉलेज का एग्जाम में टेक केयर हो जाएगा क्योंकि वो थ्योरी एग्जाम होता है आप लोग जब पेपर दोगे फाइनल ईयर का इट विल बी एन एम सी क्यू एग्जाम नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट विल रिप्लेस दी फाइनल प्रॉफ थ्योरी एग्जाम एज वेल एज पी जी एंट्रेंस एग्जाम इन दी कमिंग ईयर जो ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री का दिसंबर है मोस्ट लाइकली विल बी सींग फर्स्ट नेक्स्ट इन दिस ईयर इट सेल्फ तो ये एक बहुत जरूरी बात है कि इट इज नॉट जस्ट अ लग्जरी दैट वी आर स्टार्टिंग अर्ली इट इज अटी इंडिया में एमबीबीएस सीट्स कितनी है इस समय इंडिया में कितनी एमबीबीएस सीट है एक लाख ये बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट नंबर है ये याद रख लेना बाद में भूलना नहीं इस साल इंडिया में एक लाख एमबीबीएस सीट्स ऑलरेडी हो चुकी हैं जब मैंने ग्रेजुएट किया था तो चालीस हजार थी मैंने जब मैंने जब एमबीबीएस किया था चालीस हजार एमबीबीएस सीट्स थी उस समय भी हमें ऐसे लगता था कि डॉक्टर ज्यादा है नौकरियां कम है हम भी ऐसे सोचते थे उस समय फिर जबकि सिर्फ चालीस हजार एमबीबीएस सीट थी आज कितनी सीटें होगी एक लाख और गवर्नमेंट चाहती है इसको तो अगले दो साल में इसको और बढ़ा करके और बढ़ा के हम डेढ़ से दो लाख का टारगेट है उनका डॉक्टर्स को पहुंचाने का तो हाउ विल दे इंश्योर द क्वालिटी ऑफ डॉक्टर्स बोलो मतलब वो कैसे बदल चले गए इतने सारे डॉक्टर आ रहे हैं इतने सारे कॉलेज खोलते जा रहे हैं तो क्वालिटी ऑफ डॉक्टर्स कैसे मैनेज करेंगे सोचा कभी एग्जाम के साथ वो ये कह रहे हैं और ये बहुत जरूरी गवर्नमेंट के विजन को समझना वो कह रहे हैं कि यार कितने मर्जी कॉलेज खोलो कोई भी प्राइवेट हॉस्पिटल है वो कॉलेज खोल रहे हैं अगर आपने देखा हो दिल्ली के अंदर इतने प्राइवेट कॉलेज खुलते पहले कभी थे नहीं और आस दिल्ली एनसीआर के अंदर जैसे कॉलेज खोलो जिसने खोलना कॉलेज खोलो एंड यू टेक टू सीट्स अपना एडमिशन करो The 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 only thing that they will check in future is the outcome of the college. What is the outcome of the college? आप लोग तो कह रहे हैं ओनली थिंग दैट चेक इज विल टेक एग्जाम फॉर यू तो मैं इसलिए चाह रहा हूँ कि आई नो फेस्टिवल का टाइम है एंड आई नो कि हम सोच रहे हैं अभी तो एंजॉय कर रहे हैं करना भी चाहिए बट आंख बंद करके नहीं करेंगे नॉलेज भी जो पता चल रही है सुन लेते हैं कि एग्जाम आएगा नेक्स्ट होगा और एक फाइनल प्रॉफर रिप्लेस करेगा इट विल बी कॉम्पिटिशन एज वेल एज अ मैंडेटरी एग्जाम टू बी पास टू गेट लाइसेंस टू प्रैक्टिस मेडिसिन बहुत जरूरी बात है आई थिंक दैट विल हेल्प टू पुट परस्पेक्टिव इन पिक्चर दूसरी चीज ना मैं चाहता हूं आपको बताना कि कोई भी हम क्विज जब खेलते हैं सो क्विज इज लाइक अ एमसीक्यू एग्जाम फर्क सिर्फ इतना होता है इसमें चॉइसेस नहीं होती देयर आर नो चॉइसेस सो व्हाट इज मोर बेटर वे ऑफ प्रिपेयरिंग एमसीक्यू के बिना चॉइस के प्रिपेयर करें बिना चॉइस के प्रिपेयर करना मैं समझाता हूं आपको मैंने जब मेरे समय में पीएमटी का एग्जाम दिया या पीजी एंट्रेंस का एग्जाम दिया या इतने साल में बच्चों को सिखाया मैंने सिर्फ एक चीज सबको सिखाई है कन्वर्ट एम सी क्यू इंटू आ फिल इन द ब्लैंक्स दैट मीन्स क्वेश्चन की चॉइस से पहचानने की कोशिश मत करो फिल इन द ब्लैंक्स की तरह सोचो अगर तब सोच पाओगे तो असली एग्जाम में और अच्छा करोगे एंड दैट इज दीम दैट वी यूज फॉर टू डेज क्विज एज वेल हम कोई चॉइस नहीं देंगे हम क्वेश्चन पूछेंगे आपने आंसर बताना होगा एंड लेट्स यू नो गेट मूविंग विद दीम थी सो वट आई डू इज आई विल शो यू दी फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन एंड आई वॉन्ट आंसर फ्रॉम योर साइड 
ट्रांस ब्रॉन्कियल बायोप्सी फ्रॉम अ पेशेंट शोड द फॉलोइंग माइक्रोस्कोपिक फाइंडिंग व्हाट इज द मोस्ट लाइकली डायग्नोसिस हां जी देख पा रहे हैं आप व्हिच ईयर आर यू इन फाइनल ईयर तो ये तो हम कर पाएंगे पैथोलॉजी का क्वेश्चन है वैसे ट्रांस ब्रॉन्कियल बायोप्सी दिखाया गया इमेज एंड हमने सोच के बताना है क्या हुआ पास अच्छा एनी बडी फ्रॉम दस और एनी बडी फ्रॉम नेक्स्ट टीम कर लें दे वॉन्ट टू आंसर देर विल बी नो मार्क्स बट वी आर नॉट पासिंग ऑन जस्ट दे वॉन्ट टू आंसर I think they are on the right track. If we are, what we are looking at is the counterpart, cryptogenic organizing pneumonia. Usi taraf ja rahe hain, and I think you picked it up well. And I think the competition is already heating up. So can we give them a round of applause? Well done. So the third answer was cryptogenic organizing pneumonia. We will go close. So next question directly for Team B. Team B, are you ready? Team B, are you ready? Okay, let me show you a question. A patient presented with weakness on the right side of the face. With loss of pain and temperature, pain and temperature, sensation of left leg is also lost. The lesion is most likely located at. Audience also get ready. We have some audience prizes, some chocolates. Doctor Katyani already knows the answer. Topper. Yes. yes. Anybody? Yes. ओके टीम बी व्हाट आर यू डिस्कसिंग जल्दी जल्दी बताओ बेटा जल्दी जल्दी टाइम खत्म हो रहा है टाइमर सर राइट पॉन्स ओके एंड आई थिंक दे आर राइट दे विद द रिजर्व ऑफ बिग हैंड एंड द आंसर इज पॉन्स इन राइट साइड बिकॉज़ वी वन वन साइड द लीजन वाज एक्सीलेटर वन साइड इट वाज कॉन्ट्रैक्टर वेल डन बेटा सो दे गेट फुल 10 मार्क्स वेल डन टीम सी डायरेक्ट क्वेश्चन फॉर यू टीम सी आर यू रेडी ओके The question for you is, what is the name of the monoclonal antibody against GD2, which is approved for used in neuroblastoma? Team C. And for the audience, I want you to know every year one question in INICT is based on a monoclonal antibody. हर बार एक क्वेश्चन मोनोक्लोनल एंटीबॉडी पे जरूर पूछते हैं सेंट्रल इंस्टीट्यूट, है ना? हर बार आता है. कई बार आपको लगेगा ये तो मुश्किल है क्यों पूछ रहे हैं लेकिन आता है एग्जाम के अंदर है ना टीम सी यस ओके यू दे डोंट हैव एन आंसर सो एनीबॉडी इन द रेस्ट ऑफ द टीम्स वांट्स टू प्ले ओके और एनीबॉडी इन द ऑडियंस एनीबॉडी इन द ऑडियंस अच्छा वी आस्क हिम है ना बच्चे व्हिच कॉलेज आर यू फ्रॉम वेरी गुड बेटा टेल व्हिच व्हिच ईयर आर यू इन थर्ड ईयर अच्छा द आंसर इज Dinutu Sunap, perfect. It is absolutely right. It deserves a big hand. So again, I would again want you to look back and think what she said. उसे बोला जब मैं second year में पहली बार जब मैं dams की class में आई, मुझे एक मैं एक secured well के अंदर थी जहाँ मेरे आसपास मेरे college के बच्चे थे और मैं उनमें से top कर रही थी. She was topper of the first year. लेकिन उसको ये नहीं पता था कि बाहर की दुनिया में क्या चल रहा है. and these are the kind of events where when you compete against other colleges we you realize ki acha competition ye bhi hai aur usi tarah se jaise wo coaching class mein aayi usne dekha aur bacche bhi pad rahe hain and then she realized ki aur mehnat karni hai aur wo lagi rahi and she finally made it hai na chalo team d ready direct question for you okay easy question hai na chalo which clinical sign indicates ischemia or fora Okay, team D. Yes. Any answer from your side? No answer. Now this time I'll pass it to the audience. Yes, but she in the red. Yes. She's saying Walkman's contracture, and she is absolutely right. Give her a big hand. And I'll request the organizers to send her a small token from my side as a reward for participating. Well done, beta. Well done. Okay. Question number five for team E. Are you all set? Yes, a seven-year-old girl presented to emergency with acute stridor, history of fever, drooling. 
I am breathing difficulty since morning. X-ray of the neck is shown to you. What is the most likely causative agent? Team E. कुछ सिम्टम है कुछ एक्सरे पूछा है पॉजिटिव एजेंट क्या है दिस इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन वेरी ऑफन रिपीटेड इन यू नीट पीजी इट इज अन टी क्वेश्चन बट देर इज सम रेडियोलॉजिकल इमेज शोन इन दाम यूर आंसर Yes, team. Hemophilus. He is saying hemophilus influenza, but I agree to the answer. But what is happening on the X-ray? What is that sign called as? Thumb sign is absolutely correct. It deserves a round of applause. The answer is hemophilus influenza. Well done, beta. Well done. Okay. Now we go back to the team A. We go back to the team A. Are you ready now? Ready? Okay. Direct question for team A. Which enzyme is responsible for oxidation that occurs in some foods mostly fruits and vegetables that turns the food brown Yes team A Haan ji the timers how many seconds What's slow chal raha hai time tere paas Acha 25 seconds left Peroxidase is not correct, so we can't give you the marks. Anybody from the audience? Yes, but the the pink T-shirt. Yes. Hmm. Polyphenol oxidase. Do you think you're right? Yes, he is right. Give him a round of applause. Yes. So we just quickly pass down a book. So yes, congratulations, and we I think we have a very very brilliant and exciting audience from ACMS. I think all of you deserve a round of applause. Direct question now for Team B. Well done, brother. Well done. So everybody wins when they come to our quiz. Okay, Team B, are you ready? Are you ready for your question? The question is this: A patient exhibited an unusually drunk-like gait, and physician noticed that he swayed while entering the room. Which region in the cerebellum is affected? Name the region of cerebellum responsible for this kind of gait. We have tried to keep the quiz very direct and very simple to answer, but no choices. Vermis. He is saying vermis, but that is uh, vermis would have been more midline. Here we are looking at a uh, drunken like gait, and he swayed while entering the room. Okay, so we can't give it to you. Uh, we'll we'll ask the audience if anybody in the audience wants to give it. Organizers are not allowed. <laughs> okay, yes, butcher, yes. Uh, I have a very specific name with me here, which is what I want. Okay, I'll ask her. Yes, beta. She is saying floccular nodular lobe, and that is the answer that we have. Absolutely right. And I'm telling her my first book as a prize is Fire in the Belly, beta. Congratulations. And yes, you are already winning. Which year are you in? Second year. So are you feeling good about it? Yes, very good. Okay, team. Direct question for Team C. Team C, are you ready? Okay. Question is: At what temperature should you store the sample for anti-phospholipid antibody factor assay? Team C is yet to open its account. Do it. Do it. Is there any negative marking, organizers? So there is no negative marking. Feel free to say any temperature that you want to say. At room temperature. At room temperature of room of this kind of room or any head. So it is not correct. It is not correct. So we'll pass on to the audience. Yes, bacha in the audience. Yes. Minus seventy degrees Celsius is not what I have in me. So anybody else in the audience? Yes, bacha. Yes. Black, black. Yes. Yes, bacha. Less than four degrees Celsius is the answer, which is correct, and we give it to you. Well done. So, which year are you in? Which year are you in? Second year. So, we'll what we we'll do is I will give her a second year book. Which one? Microbiology book. So, we are giving you a DAMS microbiology concept book. This is India's first book where you will have theory with fill in the blanks, not MCQs. Fill in the blanks. Okay. Just give her a round of applause. Well done. Okay, team D. Direct question for you. Direct question. A longish question. 
a 35 year old woman presents with progressive weakness fatigue her hemogram is given below what is the best investigation to arrive at a diagnosis hemoglobin 6 rbc 4 million wbc 1000 platelet 6500 question is not what is the diagnosis it is the investigation to reach to the diagnosis that we want to know aaj hi beta 20 seconds still left the phone back to us after much juggling between them is finally arrived to the correct answer the next thing to be done would be a bone marrow biopsy to see the cause or what is happening in the hemogram well done full marks to them okay somebody giving the score yes well done beta well done okay question for team e direct question for you are you ready yes the question is here on examination of a patient with cml you find his spleen has enlarged towards the right iliac fossa Which structure prevents its displacement towards the right iliac fossa? Yes, team E. They are saying lino renal ligament, which is not correct. So the audience is already giving us so a girl there in the corner. Yes, bacha. She is saying it is the phrenico-colic ligament which is preventing the spleen to go into the right iliac fossa, and she is absolutely correct. Well done, give her a round of applause. Which year are we in, Vedha? Which year? Second year. So we need to give her a second year book now. Any second year book do you see here? Ah, so we are giving you the Dams Pathology Concept Book as a reward. And well done, well done. You are already doing well, Vedha. You are already. so i uh, just a note to ask to any of the participants no just to gain a extra mark okay any one of you can just tell me just put the buzzer on and just answer one question by putting the like banging the table anybody who bangs the tables first we will give them the ch uh, ch chance to answer one extra question am i allowed yes okay now anybody tell me that you know suppose you have a patient with road traffic accident and which organ would rupture any idea spleen 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 so that's not the question sorry so you have a patient with road traffic accident and you're thinking of a splenic trauma or any abdominal solid organ which are as rupture what investigation will you do first yes team c team b fast they will do a fast well done we give them the marks well done thank you okay at the round of the first two round at the end of the first 10 questions we know that the scorers scorers are keeping the score very actively can i announce a little bit score yes please so at the end of the first two rounds team b is leading the show with 10 20, 20 marks 20 marks well done and team d and uh, d and e are tied d are d and e are tied at 10 marks okay. so may have something i also may have something and we you were thanks for that again try and give your answer okay So you write correctly answer about fast. You know it myself, right? I have to ask you: Can you do fast only in trauma patients, or can you do it elsewhere? For example, a female patient, right? Very good. Excellent. But okay, I'll give you the prize. But you have to tell me: In which case of rupture of ectopic would you do fast? Because we want you to understand concepts and not just one-liners. Okay. Maybe I'm suspecting the. And and okay, fair enough. Unstable patient, suspicion of ectopic membrane is a very specific thing, and that will decide whether you take her to OT or you take her for a fast therapy. Because that's what you need to have a clinical acumen about. What one thing would you see if you're in the emergency to know she goes to the OT or she goes for fast? No, we talking about ectopic, so heart rate may be higher. And that's what I'm looking for. And these are four concepts. Yeah. No, so we do it in unstable patients. That's okay. Anybody? Anybody? Very good. Excellent. Excellent. So the key word in the clinical question would be: Are there any features on PA exam of the practice? If they 
totally see cardiac rigidity, she is not going for fast. Okay, she is going to be OT. No guarding, no rigidity, unstable vitals. Yes, definitely stabilize, take her for a fast. Right, so that's the key word. Very good, very good. And what do we give her? Him, sorry. Okay. From my time. Also, it's Dr. Sumay's book, but I give it to you. Great. And uh, before you know, we go on because we gave two options to the team members. One question for the audience. Audience, are you ready to win a prize? The question is going to be very easy. So uh, keep your hand already till the supraspinatus level, so that as soon as I say you go to the delta level. Okay, done. Thalamus is supplied by which blood vessel? Which artery supplies the thalamus? Yes, sir. She's saying. Anterior central artery. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Anybody else? Yes, Rajan. She says posterior central artery, which is absolutely correct. She deserves the red arm. Red arm. In B cells, express IgM and IgD antibodies at the same time due to which phenomena? Name the phenomena in which B cells express IgM, IgD antibody at the same time. ISO switching. That is not the answer that I have. So, anybody else who wants to answer in the audience? Audience? Can I pass it on to the rest of the teams? Let's see, let's see if anybody answers. There are no marks, but let's see if anybody answers here. Anybody wants to answer? Yes, can you be louder? Yes, I heard something. Splicing, yes. What kind of splicing is? There is some kind which is with me in the answer. Perfect. The correct the, he deserves a round of applause. The answer is alternative RNA splicing. Alternative RNA splicing was the correct answer. Well done. So we no marks for anybody in this round, no prizes also. We go to team B. Team B, are you ready? Okay. Eight-year-old boy was brought to the pediatric OPD with multiple cold abscess. Shown below, face, chest and back, history of recurrent respiratory infection. On examination, atopic excoriations over the skin folds. What is the most probable diagnosis? Hyper IG. He is saying hyper IG E syndrome. E? Perfect. This is absolutely right. We get full marks. Well done. Well done. Okay. So, nothing goes to the audience so far. Question number, next question for Team C. Are you ready? On your marks. I am giving you an easy one this time. Okay? Done. Which class of drugs does Bemenetamine fall in and what is its primary indication? What is the class and what is the indication? Do you think he is right? Absolutely correct. He gets full marks. Well done. It is an NDMA receptor antagonist for Dimension, moderate to severe dementia and Alzheimer's. Well done. You get full marks. Well done. Okay. Next question. Team D, are you ready? Okay. A patient with polycystic kidney disease comes to emergency room with complaints of severe headache. NCCT shows subarachnoid hemorrhage. Which calcium channel blocker is indicated in this patient? We need to know the calcium channel blocker. They are saying nimodipine. Do you think he is right, audience? Absolutely right. The answer is nimodipine because we are dealing with SAH, subarachnoid hemorrhage. What happens in to other vessels? Vasospasm. So we need a cerebroselective calcium channel blocker. The answer is nimodipine. Well done. They get full marks. They get full marks. Team E, are you ready? Okay. What is the product of reaction catalyzed by cytosolic hydroxymethylbilane? Synthesis, synthase in heme synthesis. We need to know the byproduct of the reaction catalyzed by cytosolic hydroxymethylbilane synthase in heme synthesis. We need to know the byproduct. Very complicated answer, but unfortunately not correct. It is not the answer that we have. We need to know the byproduct of the reaction catalyzed by cytosolic hydroxymethylibane synthase in heme synthesis anybody in the audience wants to play this audience okay yes bacha tell us 
that's not the answer yet no anybody else in the audience anybody in the part organizers first yes bachche what is the answer she is saying ammonia and she is absolutely correct we give her a round of applause well done beta were you the one who made the question that then we take the applause back <laughs> okay okay so we now go to team a again a newborn baby born at term was noted to have respiratory distress radiography reveals ground glass opacity in all the lung fields exogenous surfactant administration resulted in brief improvement but his con condition continued to worsen once the surfactant therapy was stopped what is the most common genetic mutation associated with this condition we need to know the genetic mutation so usko respiratory distress se newborn tha surfactant dene pe fayda hua surfactant hatane pe fir bhi problem chalta raha fir aisa kaun sa genetic mutation hai jisme aisa hota hai now whenever we ask you something related to biochemistry and genetics i see a lot of students at the back also become all silent क्यों बताओ हमें ऐसा लगता है कि रेयर बीमारी हम क्यों जाने जो एग्री के नहीं डू यू सी दी कॉन्सेप्ट एंड दैट हैज बीन टॉक टू यू इन योर स्कूल एंड कॉलेज पेपर बच्चे बोलते हैं रेयर बीमारी है क्यों जाननी है तो फिर जिसको रेयर बीमारी हो जाएगी वो डॉक्टर कहाँ से ढूंढेगा आप समझ पा रहे हैं किसी को तो जानना पड़ेगा ना सो इम्पॉर्टेंट मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट पार्ट ऑफ बींग गुड डॉक्टर इज नॉलेज इफ यू हैव नॉलेज वी कैन मेक वंडर्स वी कैन डू लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स इज बच्चा एनी आंसर फ्रॉम योर साइड Interleukin mutation is not correct. So anybody in the audience wants to give us the answer? Any Googler amongst you? <laughs> okay. Anybody else? Yes, Bachche. Hmm? Hey, वो तो alveolar proteinosis होता है ना इसको तो वो surfactant की कमी है. He is now on the right track. Both of them are answering it correct. The correct answer is A B C A three surfactant dysfunction disorder. A B C A three surfactant dysfunction disorder. They got it right. So you deserve a round of applause. Everybody, you deserve a round of applause. Which year are you in, Bache? Final year. Final year, and you are in third year. Well done, Anna. Right? Well done, Bache. Ready? Now the direct question for team B. Ready? Okay. Mutation of ALA synthase is seen in which porphyria? ALA synthase in which porphyria? Yes. X porphyria. Porphyria. Which porphyria? Give it or not give it. acha so we we can't give it to you you are on the right track but you said something wrong so we are not giving it to you anybody in the audience wants to correct the answer yes bachcha in the back yes beta both of you are saying same thing anybody else wants to say something else we have answer is something else yeah anybody else wants to answer tangi organizer please so the correct answer is X linked porphyria actually X linked porphyria not this sideroblastic baad mein bola na lekin sab log wapas bol rahe hain ki aisa nahi hona chahiye isse kya kare aadha aadha kar le nahi banda X linked bola na khali usse ban nahi rahi baat nahi nahi de pa rahe abhi rakh lete hain kisi aur ke upar tumhare paas bhi right de raha hu koi aur agar galat bataye you can just wait to i will take cut their mass also okay yes team c ready An epidemic involving SS RNA with three prime, five prime RNA has broken out in West Africa. Which enzyme do such viruses use in Zinov replication? We need to know the enzyme. Single stranded RNA virus with three prime, five prime RNA. What enzyme do these viruses use in Zinov replication? We don't need to know the virus. We need to know the enzyme. Okay, team C. Time is running out. How many seconds left? Sir. Yes, sir. RNA polymerase. RNA polymerase. 
No, we can't give it to you. I have something else in my notebook. Okay. So, anybody in the audience? Yeah, I think you've already won. You, you can answer yes, with me. Reverse transcript is. We can't give it to you now. Anybody else in the audience wants to try? Yes, Bacha. With you. You want to try? Want to answer? No, we don't. Can't give it to you. Anybody else wants to try? The correct answer is anybody in the participating teams wants to try? The answer is RNA replicase actually. RNA replicase was the answer that we were looking for. So I'll ask the organizing team which virus did you mean when you said in West Africa? Ebola. Ebola. I just forgot. But it's okay. Now recently there, there is an outbreak, outbreak of Marburg virus in Africa right now and people are worried that if that becomes a pandemic what will happen. So these are always concerns like this. RNA depend on RNA polymers. The organizers do not agree. Okay. So we go to the team D. Team D. Are you ready? Okay. Identify the group. I identify the group found on the surface of the heart that marks the boundary between left and right ventricles. Okay. We need the groove found on the surface of the heart that marks the boundary between left and right ventricles. Team D. Well, please speak. Give your answer. Then don't. Are you asking or telling? <laughs> okay. What is your answer? Final. Yes. There is a groove found on the surface of the heart that marks the boundary between left and right ventricles. We just need to know the groove. Hanji Bache. Interventricular. Interventricular groove. I don't think we can give it to you, but we have something more written here. So anybody else in the audience wants to answer? Yes, Bachi, not try. Right. Did you smartly do it that usne posterior bol deta wedi ro Agar smartly kiya to bhi achhi baat hai give a big round of applause well done so we are sending her so we are sending her as a prize dams planner which is a planner that i have made about how to study and what are the checklist give her a big round of applause dams is anterior interventricular sinus you all check back patient on the team like to sign and be present with all the other people Investigation reveals a rising serum plate in granular cast was seen on urine microscopy, which amino glycoside is least likely to cause this condition. Okay, aim three. That is what we After this, we will have just the final round. So get ready for this course. So that we are all set to go. Canamycin. Canamycin is not the answer that I have with me. Anybody in the audience wants to give it to try? Ajay, please. Yes. No. Any other person in the audience wants to try? Actually, whatever mycin you are saying, the mycin that I have with me is more easy actually. Now, <laughs> the correct answer is streptomycin actually, streptomycin. Okay, before we start with the final five questions, can we have score clearly mentioned? Which team is leading the show? Team B is leading the show. Give them a round of applause with... With the score? With 30 score. A. Yet to open their account. So let's get this going now in this direct question for you. Are you ready now? to Which year are you in? Final year. Junior will be Okay, direct question for you. Team A. 
a slowly rising stimulus fails to fire a nerve because of a process known as Anjay Bachchan Any answer? Dump share is something more, more try more uh, It is not adaptation so we can't give it to you Anybody in the audience wants to give the correct answer? What process because of which a slowly rising stimulus fails to fire a nerve? She is saying accommodation and finally she is absolutely correct. Give her a round of applause. She finally answered as right. Well done. Which year are you in Vida? Which year? First year. So we'll give you a first year book. Do you see anatomy book anywhere? Okay. So what we can do is we can give you a biochemistry dance concert book as a prize. Well done. Okay. Also, for the next question which goes to the audience, I have some books with me which are our USMLE lecture notes. Anybody who is interested in USMLE or wanting to pursue a career in America in future? Okay. Okay. Maybe we we'll, let us we'll talk about it later. But if you have an interest, answer the next question that goes to the audience. I'll give you a book. Okay. Ready? Team B. All set to go. A catheterized patient, bedridden patient, complains of fever and suprapubic pain. Urine routine examination was done to look for catheter associated UTI. What is the cutoff beyond which this diagnosis can be confirmed? So the question is catheter associated UTI. Very important. That is how the answer will be. So, kitna bacteria ka cutoff ho? What will be the cutoff where you can say this is catheter associated urinary tract infection? Yes, team B. So they are saying 10 to the power 5, but it was catheter associated UTI, and the value that we have in the answer is not the same. So we are not able to give you the marks. Anybody in the audience wants to give it a shot? Audience first, audience. Yes, Bachi, yes. Which year are you in? Which year? Well done. She's absolutely right in third year itself. Well done. It is 10 to the power 3. So, what we do is we give her a prize because she is already answering third year things. Do we have a yen? So, we are going to give you a NAMS ophthalmology concert book as a prize. Well done. Give her a round of applause. Okay. So the last one diagnosed with myoclonia congenita, which ion channel is most likely to be rotated? He's saying chloride and he is absolutely correct. Give them a round of applause. Full marks. Well done. Well done, beta. Well done. You are now warming up to the cause. Yes, team D. Are you ready now? Let's see if we can go to the tiebreaker or not. 24. Yes, all set to go. A person on levodopa therapy presents with confusion, delusion of grandeur and hallucination. What is the most appropriate treatment for his condition? I need to know the condition, I need to know the treatment, not the condition, treatment. When you ask the question, you know the answer always. Okay, let's start with You are saying benzodiazepine, but we need some. Benzodiazepine. Benzodiazepine. No, no. No, no, no. Apart from the new. We will not be able to give it to you. So we pass it to the audience for a prize. Anybody in the audience wants to answer? Anybody in the audience? And uh, anybody in the rest of the teams wants to answer this question? Habache. Any other? Ah. We have clozapine with us. Clozapine is the answer and cutapine. But you pride your best, so uh, what we can do is we can give you a prize. Let's see. Hmm? 
Which year are you in? Third year, no? Third year. So we can give him a prize for third year. What we are going to give you is a very unique prize. This is the Dams DVD workbook. This is all 19 subjects in one book for quick revision. But the only problem is that it is a workbook. So it will have fill in the blanks that you will have to fill up listening to the videos in your subscription. Well done. Well done. Well done. So final question for today's quiz. Final question for today's quiz. Are you ready team A now? What now? इसको इसको कर देते हैं इसको बता देते हैं बहुत हो गया कर लेते हैं रेडी ओके यूरिया साइकिल एंड क्रेप साइकिल आर लिंक्ड एट वेरी इजी यूरिया साइकिल क्रेप साइकिल कहां पे लिंक होते हैं हां जी द ऑडियंस इज गेटिंग वेरी एक्साइटेड टू आंसर व्हाट द क्वेश्चन इज फॉर टीम ई एंड दैट इज द फाइनल क्वेश्चन ऑफ द डे थर्ड इयर वॉट वी कैन गिफ्ट टू यू इन थर्ड इयर इज आई एम गिविंग यू अ बुक Yes, I can, and well done, beta. We are very proud of you. So, at the round of the total 25 questions which we have done, we can see the score and we can announce the winners. But the important thing is not winning or losing. What is important? Participating is important. कभी भी ऐसा नहीं है हार जीत से फर्क नहीं पड़ेगा, लेकिन खेलेंगे तो फायदा मिलेगा हमेशा. It is about participating and it is about learning. अच्छा मुझे इससे पहले कि मैं आंस, आपको विनर बताऊं एनी बडी फ्रॉम दस वॉन्ट्स टू गेस्ट के कौन सी टीम जीती होगी बहुत होशियार हो अच्छा जागे हुए थे अच्छा एक और बात बताऊं मुझे कि जितना भी एमबीबीएस में सिलेबस है जितना भी सिलेबस है ये कब तक खत्म हो जाएगा मतलब कब तक खत्म हो सकता है ये पूरी जिंदगी में कभी खत्म नहीं हो पाएगा ठीक है अगर ना ये हो ही नहीं सकता था तब इट लाइक मेडिकल नॉलेज इतनी ज्यादा है कि वो कभी हम वो एक लाइफ टाइम जो ड्यूरेशन है लाइफ टाइम का एवरेज और जो मेडिकल नॉलेज है उससे बहुत ज्यादा है इसका क्या मतलब हो इसका मतलब कभी अगर आप ये सोचोगे ना कि एक दिन मैं सारा कुछ पढ़ लूंगा और परफेक्ट हो जाऊंगा ऐसा कभी भी नहीं होगा इट इज अ ट्रूली हम्बलिंग एक्सपीरियंस ए मेडिकल करियर इज अम्बलिंग एक्सपीरियंस हर थोड़े दिन बाद लगेगा अभी नहीं बहुत सीनियर होने के बाद भी कि यार ये तो मेरे को कोई पता ही नहीं था ये क्या नई चीज आ गई ये तो कोई अनाटोमिकल वेरिएंट आ गया सर्जरी के दौरान मतलब तो हर बार कुछ नई चीज मिलेगी कब तक जिंदगी के एंड तक इसका मतलब कौन जीतेगा इस करियर के अंदर कौन अच्छा कर सकता है जो कॉन्स्टेंटली लर्नर है जो सीखना चाहता है अगर सीख रहे हैं तो हमेशा सीखते रहेंगे और हमेशा अच्छा लगेगा अगर बार बार ये सोचोगे ना कि यार मैं परफेक्ट हो जाऊंगा तो फ्रस्ट्रेशन होगी परफेक्ट नहीं हो पाऊंगे इसके अंदर हमलिंग एक्सपीरियंस है है ना तो इसी के साथ ना मैं इसी नोट के साथ कि वी आर ऑल कॉन्स्टेंट लर्नर्स देर आर नो विनर्स और लूजर्स एवरीबडी इज पार्टिसिपेटिंग इस नोट के साथ मैं आंसर बता रहा हूं सो दैट नो बडी फील्स बैक सो टीम विच इज द सेकेंड रनर ऑफ टूडे जो आप थर्ड है ये टीम वो कौन सी है टीम सी टीम सी वेल डन यू आर दी सेकेंड रनर ऑफ टूडे गिव दे वर ऑन क्लॉज और प्राइजेस प्राइज प्राइस अभी अभी आ रहे हैं आ रहे हैं प्राइस आ रहे हैं तो अभी चले हुए रस्ते में वेरी गुड ऐसा होता है ऑर्गेनाइजेशन कुछ बता दे मैं अनाउंस कर दू अच्छा वी हैव अ डैम्स गोइंग बैक वी कैन आस्क दी टीम टू प्रोवाइड एंड वी कैन डू इट बाय द टाइम लेट मी अनाउंस द टीम व्हिच इज द फर्स्ट रनर ऑफ टीम डी टीम डी यू हैव कम सेकंड वेल डन वेल डन गिव देम अ बिग राउंड ऑफ अप्लाउज एंड द टीम व्हिच हैज वन एसीएमएस On a medical quiz. Acha, I'll request Madam, uh, please, uh, to join us in the announcement. So, uh, the winner is. Yes, Shreya. Yes,
तेरा एक नंबर कट गया तेरा लेकिन कोई बात दूसरे नंबर कटा था